Lawrence Springborg has conceded some in the opposition have been discussing his position after an attempted leadership spill. A short time ago, one of the plotters against Mr Springborg was demoted. Steve Minikin has been sacked as Deputy Opposition Whip. The estate political reporter, George Roberts. Despite a weekend of rumblings... There certainly appeared to be some of those discussions. Lawrence Springborg's held off a move on his leadership. There was no indication that anything like that was certainly on the cards. The would-be contender, Tim Mander, isn't denying or confirming anything. Tim, are you challenging for the leadership? Tim, were you admonished in the uh, party room? Still, a rumour is a reason to relish for the government. Well, where do I begin? First of all, he denied saying something in Parliament that clearly was on the record. He denied jaywalking when a journalist photographed him and now he's denying that he's part of a coup to make himself the leader. I mean, if Tim Mander told the truth, it'd be by accident. Tim Nichols, previously touted as a leadership contender himself, is backing his leader. The job of uh, the opposition is to make sure we hold the government accountable. That's what we'll be concentrating He's on Lawrence doing it under, under Lawrence Springborg's leadership. A potential threat also loomed for the Palaszczuk government. News that key crossbench MP Billy Gordon is in hospital after a minor heart attack raised questions of his absence being used to launch a no-confidence vote in the government. But that's also been put to bed. You don't take advantage of a situation like this. It would be completely wrong, and I've said that in the past. It's business as usual for the government. It'll be a busy three days of sitting with up to four bills, including new smoking restrictions, to be debated and voted on. George Roberts, ABC News, Brisbane.